Hey there loves, it's the beginning of a new week and I am so, so, so excited. Okay, I'm lying, I didn't wake up this pumped, but now I'm excited, but when I woke up, I went to sleep late last night, Sunday night, and then this morning, I didn't even go last night to sleep last night, I went around 1 a.m. because of some other issues, I don't wanna talk about that, but anyway. Uh, then I woke up early because, you know, my baby, has to eat around four, five, I think. And then I tried to go back to sleep. And then when I wanted to get up and work out, he was up. So it was, yeah, I have to find the perfect schedule. I think I need to work on finding the, the, the perfect scheduling for me so that my mornings work well. But here's a statement. I want, I like to say I created it, but maybe somebody else might have, you know, but I've never read it anywhere or heard it from someone else. But I said this, because I called my husband I, and I said, I'm not gonna work out, I'm not gonna work out. But then I called him back, I said, you know what? I decided I'm gonna work out. Because who, who decides where my day starts and where my day ends? Who said my day has to start at 4 a.m. for me to meet my goals? And I worked out at 10 a.m. Finished around 11.40 something. Burned 430 calories. Walked six kilometers. And I gotta say, I, I met my, my, my workout goal. And you know the thing that made me really, that motivated me was I set a goal for my week. Because I, I remember the last video I shared with you my goals that I wanna lose about 0.5 kg a week. If I am losing 0.5 kg a week, that means this, by end, the end of this week, because I, I weighed myself this morning, I'm still 83.3, but if I'm losing 500 grams, I should be about in the 82s by the end of this week. And just thinking of that goal, even if it's 82.9, that I would have met my goal for this week. So my goal is to be in the 82s by the end of this week. And if I keep remembering that, I'm not gonna cheat on my diet. I'm not going to not work out. I'm going to remember that goal. Because when you want to cheat on your diet, remember your goal. Like, I want to reach the 82s. I want to reach the 82s. So that's, you know, that's what is going to keep me going. And that's what gave me the energy to go and work out. Even though my morning was just kind of dragging. So that's what I want to encourage you. Set a goal for yourself. Set a goal for what you want to achieve at the end of the week. And we're talking about weight loss here. So if you set a goal, how much do you want to lose? And keep meditating on that goal throughout the day so that you don't make the wrong choices. Because you can start by working out perfectly and then you forget that goal and then you eat and you undo all the good workout that you did that morning. So keep constant, constantly throughout the day, you have to keep meditating on that goal. So I wanna advise you, you know to set a goal that you really 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 want and you keep remembering it and even when you don't want to work out and I even worked out at a faster pace than I normally do so I'm really proud of myself for that and I'm going to continue to make healthy eating choices food choices rather throughout the day so that I don't undo the hard work that I did this morning and by the end of this week Fingers crossed, I will be in the 82s and I will be updating you and showing you what I do. If I'm not, I'm still going to stick to my diet because sometimes the body doesn't respond as fast as you want it to. It doesn't, it just doesn't. But then sometimes, because I notice sometimes I'll be like 83, 83, 83 for like four or five days, if not even a whole week. The, the Monday of the next week, I'll be like 82.5. I'll just drop like 900 grams at one time because your body, uh, it'll be holding on to extra water. Those fat cells, it doesn't want to let them go. But finally, when it's, it, let, it lets them go, it'll just be like, whew, that weight is just shed. So that's my um, encouragement for you today. Set a goal that encourages you to push and stay on your diet, stay on your workouts. And I saw, I was scroll scrolling through Instagram this morning and I saw a quote that says, um, eating healthy one time does not give you significant, does not give you the results you want in weight loss. 
and that's a sad fact. So you have to make sure that you're consistent. And don't go off your diet too much, like say, oh, I encourage people and say you don't need to be perfect. But at the same time, you kind of need to start working on being perfect on your diet because when you build those habits, they'll be very difficult to break. Because I remember when I was uh, pregnant, I had you know built these habits of eating, before I was pregnant, um, eating a certain amount of calories. It was difficult for me to get out of that, to just start eating freely when I finally was, uh, when I was pregnant because I couldn't eat such a restrictive diet and risk you know the life of my child but I, it was difficult for me to get out of that and say okay let me start eating this let me start eating this and but I, I did try to you know anyway I don't want to talk your ear off I will be sharing with you what I eat um, my first meal around 2 or well, maybe 2 30 all right have a good day my loves Hey guys, this is my first meal of the day, which is three slices of toast, two just plain slices and one with Nutella and three grams of nuts, and my tea with 100 grams of full fat milk. And uh, for those who don't know, I use sweetener for my tea, but if you want to use sugar, just be careful and make sure it fits your calories. Hey guys, so this is my evening meal. I um, am having it some spaghetti bolognese. I don't know, is that how you say it? Bolognese, bolognese. So this is 100 grams of spaghetti, 100 grams of minced meat. Uh, this is 150 grams of broccoli and cauliflower. And I'm having it with 25 grams of cheese, shredded cheese. It's gonna be so delicious. And the secret to this sauce is really a lot of garlic. You know, and I made the sauce from scratch anyway. And then I'm going to have this strawberry, oh Lord, this strawberry yogurt. And look at the calories on it. Oh, no, 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 no. Can you see it? It's only 90 calories. Yeah, so instead of having, having a Kit Kat, I'm gonna have this yogurt. So that is my meal, you guys. Get my finger out of the way. Now this was my day on Monday, guys. I had a total of 1366 calories with my lunch, which was 609 calories, as you saw the penis the white bread and the eggs the nutella and the milk then my dinner was 670 calories i had the delicious spaghetti the extra lean ground beef the cheddar cheese it was amazing of course the broccoli and then i topped it off with my yogurt that i love so much and yeah that was it Okay guys, this is my first meal of the day. <laughs> this is pretty standard at this point, but I'm sure I'll change it when I get sick of it. But this is toast, Nutella. This is three slices, by the way, let me do this. Three slices, only one with Nutella, 10 grams of Nutella. The rest are two, you know, just two plain slices. I'm gonna eat them with the eggs. And 100 grams of full fat milk and sweetener in my tea. So this is my first meal of the day. Hey guys. So tonight for dinner, I'm having a chicken mayo sandwich right here with uh, 10 grams, I think maybe 15 grams of cheese, 50 grams of chicken breast, 30 grams of mayo, and ketchup with my roast potatoes. These have little to no oil, but they taste like french fries. 
So my drink of choice, I think I'm gonna have them with some tea or something. Yeah, I might have it with some tea. Or water. This is what I ate yesterday. I had a total of 1,240 calories, so I had an excess. Well, not an excess, but I had extra calories left over of 110 calories, which is funny. I think I, I just wasn't feeling hungry for some reason yesterday, but even if you're not feeling hungry, it's important just to eat. So my dinner was only 531 calories, and I was so full, which was so amazing. But um, I think next time I'll try to just eat you know, so I could get all the whole meal in.